Cause if Jesus walked the water, I can at least stand the rain Compared to Socrates, spitting out prophecies A legend in the making, they build this statue Just to honor me, dreaming consciously As I'm the induced, waiting for my moment In a world where his parents are murdered Bruce Wayne wages war on the criminals of Gotham City He is vengeance, he is night He is Batman What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel, Dead Joe Gaming, with another episode, a subscriber request by none other than Dom Benton, a lifetime supporter of the channel. Thank you so much, Dom, for supporting my channel. If you guys want to become a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos, like the video, and comment down below which character you guys would like to hear an origin story for and with that said, let's get into the origin story of one Bruce Wayne. Batman was created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger and actually made his first appearance in Detective Comics number 27 in 1939. Bruce Wayne as a child, he pretty much was raised um, in a life of privilege. Uh, his parents, Thomas and Martha Wayne, were pretty much the wealthiest family in Gotham, essentially. Um, they pretty much lived in like the upper echelon of Gotham City, so basically in the high society. Uh, they were, they lived pretty far from like the city's like slow descent into corruption and chaos. And Bruce enjoyed a carefree childhood with the promise of like a bright future, um, in which his family's name and fortune would pretty much see to. And he could pretty much just get whatever he want. But as fate would have it, everybody. One night after the Waynes exited a movie theater in one of Gotham's like rougher neighborhoods. Don't ask me why they decided to go to a movie in the rougher neighborhood. I don't know. They were caught in a mugging that left both Thomas and Martha killed. Yes, they were murdered in an alley formerly known as uh, Park Row, but came to be known as Crime Alley. Now, uh, there's not too much known about Martha Wayne um, other than that she was a loving mother a philanthropist and stuff like that but Thomas Wayne actually uh, he was a, like a renowned doctor in Gotham a surgeon actually in Gotham City as well as a philanthropist and an amazing father and uh, Thomas Wayne please y'all need to be on the lookout for a video or just story about Thomas Wayne because Thomas Wayne has some pretty interesting backstory in DC Comics uh, he's affiliated with Quite a couple of uh, different organizations, um, but I digress. Once Bruce lost his parents and essentially became an orphan, um, he was taken under care by the family butler, Alfred Pennyworth. Now, Alfred is an amazing character. I say this a lot now. This isn't about Alfred, but I will say this. Any iteration of Alfred that I've seen, he's an amazing character. Um, just so down to earth and uh, just an amazing guy. So... Uh, under the care of Alfred, Bruce pretty much had to learn how to survive in a world where the rules that he thought he understood pretty much lo no longer made sense. Um, but as time went on, you know, Bruce slowly turned his grief into like fuel and it, it kind of became an obsession. So pretty much instead of like having like a self-destructive nature um, because, his, you know, he lost his parents as most uh, children would or people would um, he pretty much swore an oath to combat criminals in Gotham City uh, you know for the rest of his life and boy oh boy does he do that and he does this basically to prevent the tragedy that occurred to him from happening to anybody else uh, so as we all know you know, his his alter ego, and it may not even be considered an alter ego. There's been a lot of um, speculation, both amongst readers and in comics itself, where, uh, you know, people have told Bruce, you're no longer Bruce Wayne. You are Batman, and Bruce Wayne is the alter ego. And that's something to, uh, to really think about, honestly. But as we all know, um, you know, his name's Batman. So, obviously, he was inspired uh, by bats. Now, the bats, as a child, infested his family's property. So, he kind of uh, developed, like, this long, this lifelong fear of the bats. So, he took on the identity of Batman, the hero of Gotham City and the rest of the DC Universe. Uh, so, you know, Batman is a very 
iconic character. Uh, he, anyone, even if you don't read comic books, right? If I ask you to name me a character from DC Comics, even though you don't know comics, nine times out of ten, you're going to say Batman. So, fast forward, you know, into his career of being this this cape crusader, this dark knight, this vigilante, uh, using fear uh, to oppress those and combat those that would otherwise oppress the innocent. He's using fear. He has, you know, different methods that he has that he, you know, combats the, 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 the underground slime of Gotham City. And he has an ally in this uh, commissioner, one Commissioner Gordon. Now, Commissioner Gordon originally, when Batman became a vigilante, Batman, be so Bruce pretty much, I say Batman became a vigilante, but that's kind of not the right thing to say. The first, around the time when Bruce became a vigilante, and you can actually pick up the story, Batman, uh, I believe it's either Zero Year, and there's an, there's an animated movie called Batman Year One. Um, Bruce was not liked by the GCPD, the Gotham City Police Department. He, he, was, he was hated, you know, because the police pretty much looked at him as somebody, you know, trying to uh, enforce the law without a badge, you know. So, you know, fast forward, Commissioner Gordon uh, confronted Batman and saw pretty much that Batman wasn't, he wasn't, all, he wasn't a bad guy. He wasn't all, he wasn't all bad. So, uh, Commissioner Gordon pretty much became kind of like a, I don't want to say inside man, but more of an ally. We'll say an ally to Bruce slash Batman. And now uh, they they pretty much just are like a, uh, a tag team duo and they're one of DC Universe's best duos honestly if you think about it um, so Commissioner Gordon is also you know like Alfred Pennyworth in my opinion one of those characters that just has such uh, depth to him and he's very grounded so between Commissioner Gordon Alfred and uh, Batman Gotham City is pretty much watched over um, by their vigilant protector, the Dark Knight. So, this Batman as a as a character, uh, you know, as I said, he's pretty much the face of DC, and that is no understatement. There have been multiple, multiple uh, retcons and 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 movies, oh, especially movies. You know, everything from Michael Keaton to Christian Bale to Val Kilmer. Uh, Val Kilmer. Um, and, you know, uh, Ben Affleck, and, and, and then we had Adam West Batman, and there wasn't even a Batman before Adam West, I think back in, like, the, the 40s or the 50s, you know? So, Batman definitely is one of those go-to characters, a very popular character, um, and I have to say, in my opinion, I do think he's kind of overpopularized, if, if that makes sense. Don't, don't, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. But, you know, that doesn't mean that I don't like the character. You, that's, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say he's a bad character, but he is overpopularized because a lot of people, especially comic readers that I ask, you know, oh, well, who's your, if, if it's just casual conversation, I ask, who's your favorite character? And nine times out of ten, they tell me Batman or Superman, but most likely it's Batman. So, no knock to them, you know, more power to you. It's just me personally. I have a different favorite DC character and be on the lookout for that origin story very soon. So with that said, let's now get into the fun part, everybody. Let's get into powers and abilities. So uh, in the DC universe, there is a type of uh, human called metahuman. And metahumans are essentially people with different abilities. So kind of like how Marvel has mutants and you know these superpower beings dc has metahumans and the metahumans could have acquired powers based off of you know chemicals or some kind of energy blast or what have you so batman is actually not classified as a metahuman i've actually seen him classified as uh you know uh, a superhuman um, and we'll i'll tell you why in a minute but even though he doesn't have powers and abilities he relies more on his his sharp mind his very disciplined body as well as like his uh, combat and detective training so he's he's pretty much a master 
in virtually every form of martial arts. And the number that I, there was a comic book issue where he gave Barbara um, a, I think it was a disc, and it was basically 127 different forms of martial arts. So it's speculated that Batman knows a minimum of 127 different forms of martial arts that he uses to combat Gotham's underbelly. Um, he's also a brilliant tactician and pretty much has, he's a genius level forensic scientist. And also, like I said, Bruce's family is, is one of the, is probably the wealthiest family in Gotham. So he has access to his whole family's fortune, which he uses to create like near limitless supply of, uh, advanced technology for his war on crime. Um, he pretty much, um, uh, does all his operations from his bat cave which is located beneath Wayne Manor and it's like uh, a housing for all his specialized toys so Batman like I said he's not a metahuman he doesn't have any special abilities but he does have um, a very large repertoire of uh, gadgets he has everything from the Batmobile which the Batmobile just like the character itself has gone through different iterations and different versions throughout comic books and movies so take your pick on which one is your favorite i'm personally a huge fan of the batmobile um from the batman v superman movie um done by Zack snyder i'm a huge fan of that design he also has a a bat plane or he, sometimes it's called the bat wing and in the bat cave he also has a bat computer which generally is uh you know where he goes to maybe uh, put in a vial of blood to do like a to test a sample of blood or do DNA matches or test fingerprints and the bad computer is is is, is pretty much like a, a, a Mac computer with a with an M1 chip on crack so it's it's very very advanced and I don't think you know I would love to have something like that like in the real world but keyword is I would love to have something like that in the real world um so the, the back computer pretty much links Bruce's technology across the globe and beyond. And before I continue, I also want to say that the Bat Cave under Wayne Manor is actually it's not his only location. He has Bat Cave spread throughout that he's built spread throughout the world. So just in case he travels, he has somewhere that he can go in order to like have a base of operations. Um, he also pretty much prides himself. And, uh, the running joke is that does Batman have enough prep time? Whenever a, a combat situation comes up or a versus comes up between Batman and X character, um, it always comes up if, oh, does Batman have enough prep time? So Batman prides himself on being prepared for pretty much any emergency. Uh, he's devised like various plans in order to combat various uh, types of enemies, anything from... The, your basic run-of-the-mill criminal all the way up to, like, doomsday scenarios. <laughs> doomsday. Um, and seeing as though he is, you know, sometimes the leader of the Justice League, uh, the Justice League being obviously, like, a, a huge group of various metahumans uh, that took an oath to protect Earth and uh, stuff like that, he actually came up with a contingency plan to combat the Justice League if they ever should turn evil. Watch uh, Doomsday or what is it? Batman Doomsday the animated movie I believe it's called. Um, but if you if you type it in Google you'll be able to find it. So basically he's more than ready to like take on whatever the universe throws at him. Now the, the Batcave the Batmobile the Batwing all these um, like I said, are tools that he uses to combat, you know, you know, like bigger threats. But what about when he's fighting? You know, what about when he's, you know, what, what does he use in combination with his martial arts? Well, he has a utility belt. And that's that has also changed in design over the years, uh, depending on who's drawing uh, the Cape Crusader. But in his utility belt, he has batarangs. His batarangs being a form of it's kind of like a shuriken, you know, like a ninja throwing star, but it's shaped like a bat. Obviously, duh. So he he uses these batarangs to, you know, cut rope if he's like caught up in a, 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 a quote unquote tight situation. 
He can use the Batarang to cut ropes. He throws the Batarangs to de to disarm criminals. Um, he has different types of Batarangs. He has everything from like the normal Batarangs to a Batarang that when he throws it, it explodes into like a rope to kind of rope up enemies' feet. Uh, and it's just it's just an amazing tool. And I just don't think I'd be able to master it because I'd probably end up like taking an eye out. Um, his, but all this wouldn't be possible without his main piece of tech, which is his bat suit. Now the bat suit, guys, has probably it, it's probably one of the most decked out, pimped out, tricked out pieces of of, of clothing in DC Comics. Uh, he has cutting edge technology and it's just loaded with like different things and I mean if you combine that with like his own like hair trigger reflexes Batman's pretty much ready to strike fear into like you know fucking anyone um so it's it's the bat suit has also gone through different versions and he actually has different bat suits for different occasions which is actually uh pretty it, it that's pretty interesting he has uh, a bat suit to fight the justice league he has a bat suit for like underwater missions. He has a bat suit to go in space. He has a bat suit that has multiple sensors on it, so it pretty much enhances his already like balling martial arts abilities. He has like a stealth bat suit. He has bat suit. He has a bat suit with with like jet like a uh, uh, what do you call it like booster feet that so he can fly. He has a bat suit that he used, like for example, in the Dark Knight Return storyline and the animated movie, where he fought Superman. He has a bat suit that was that he specially designed to combat uh, Clark. He's not a type to solely rely on his technology. He's not. Bruce also, like I said, has martial arts abilities. He has detective skills. He's often heralded as the world's greatest detective, which, honestly. I probably have to agree. <laughs> I, like I, I probably have to agree. But other than his tech and his suit, he also has a repertoire of different like items to combat different enemies. He has a piece of rock called Kryptonite that he uses to obviously, uh, specifically fight uh, Superman. And like I said, he does at the Batmobile. He also has a grappling hook that he uses. The grappling hook is used to just transverse uh, Gotham City. It pulls them up. It's able so you can swing around and, and uh, get out of a tight situation and stuff like that. He has smoke bombs. In fact, there was even one comic where he was, uh, I'm not going to say he was captured because you don't capture Batman, right? But he was in a, a crazy situation, couldn't use his hand, so he actually had a smoke bomb capsule in his tooth. So when he dislodged the tooth and spit it out, that's when the smoke bomb exploded and he was able to like escape. Um, he has like anti-joker gas. He has a little, uh, I don't want to say like a respirator, but like a little uh, mouthpiece that he can use to breathe underwater. Um, his cape has different abilities that allows him to glide. Uh, he can use it to uh, maybe, uh, you know, help him slow down speed as he's falling towards the ground so he doesn't obviously hurt himself. Batman has also been shown and is theorized that he's he can actually lift um, a max of 1,000, like bench press, a max of 1,000 pounds. So it's it's Bruce, <laughs> Bruce Wayne, Batman, he's he's uh, he's he's definitely one of those characters that DC prides themselves on. Batman has also shown extreme durability as shown in this panel here where he literally ran through bazooka fire in order to capture the Joker. So now on to essential storylines. Uh, so pretty much anything from the Golden Age, if you want to learn about Batman, you can pretty much just read anything from the Golden Age. The Golden Age was like from like 19, I think 1939 up until like 1957 or 19... 56. So like I said, um, he first appeared in Detective Comics number 27. You can read, let me see, you can read The Dark Knight Returns, which isn't like an origin story. He pretty much retired. And then the Joker, uh, you know, came out from retirement <laughs> and pretty much 
Bruce came out of retirement and that was that. So I would definitely recommend The Dark Knight Returns. And as I said earlier, I would recommend Batman Year One, which is basically his first year as Batman. Uh, you can read the Batman Chronicles. You can read, you can read the Untold Legend of Batman. Uh, Batman: A Death in the Family is a really good one, and Batman: Nightfall. Also, Batman: The Killing Joke, which not really about Batman, but it still is a great storyline to read, um, and it's one of DC's most popular storylines as it involves the Joker. Um, it's probably one of the closest things we're going to get to an origin story for the Joker. So that has been this uh that's a wrap that's a wrap on batman's origin is you know i make these videos i don't make these videos to get into like different comic book storylines i more so make these videos as like a quick reference guide to anyone just wanting to real quick just learn different like little facts about batman or any comic book character I, i'm not limiting myself just to dc if you guys haven't watched go check out my origins of deadpool that i did and uh, let me know what you guys think. So with that said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, comment down below what character from Marvel, DC, Image, Dark Horse, what character would you guys like to know more about? Let me know. Uh, shout out to Dom Bitten for supporting and shout out to all my supporters, as a matter of fact, all my subscribers. If you guys like the video, hit the sub button, hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new content. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you in the next video of Origin Stories. Peace out.